So, there was another computer crash. And I want to finish a little recording so I can give my thoughts, plus see whoever is coming in the next battle. Because we all know that there are two battles that I really, really, really want to see. Okay, I know the odds of them giving us Mewtwo versus Black War Greymon are slim to none because they already had Mewtwo versus Shadow. But, you know, they've had two Pokemon versus Digimon fights, but um, they, uh, you know, they have Marvel versus DC all the freaking time. It's getting obnoxious to battle. <coughs> At least give us, like, you know, Marvel versus Image or DC versus Dark Horse or something. Gosh, I think we've only had one Image Comics person this whole time. Anyway. <whistles> crash again. I really, really, really want to see who's next. And I just... I don't really have many thoughts on this battle, but, uh, you know, might as well get some. not quite like speed. Still, there's a difference between travel speed and reaction speed, as Naruto has already shown. Comparing them directly, Ichigo's best reaction should clock in at around 970 million miles per hour, 40% faster than yeah. light speed, and Naruto's <laughs> reaction time. All right, point for Ichigo. Speed alone wasn't enough, though, especially since Naruto's sage powers gave him superb field awareness, making it yeah. difficult for Ichigo to land a fatal blow. Yeah, we could even I like they're doing fatal at all. Ichigo has always had a tough time damaging foes who have stronger spiritual energy than him. With that said, let's compare his reaction right. to Naruto's chakra. Bad news is, across both of them, the only multiplier we know for sure is Ichigo's times 10 Bankai. The times 10 Five is difficult to, to achieve, but for Ichigo's sake, let's assume he gets the maximum possible boost from every transformation. His other forms likely don't boost his stats this much. For example, oh, when he right. used his Hollow Mask to barely overpower an Aran car, the situation and its results were similar to his then-comparable Shinigami friends releasing their limiters, which gave each of them a boost of times 5. However, right. let's give the benefit of the doubt and apply the maximum times 10 increase to all of Ichigo's forms that clearly Undoubtedly weaker. That's why they just As well as stack them, even though many forms were in separate, unconnected power sets. I just take it over the big quiz Ichigo's power. It's, we'll it's the iguana so from Fox Where do we start? Okay, Bankai Ichigo with his Hollow Mask was on par with Ukiora's first transformation, correct? Well, nearly. Ukiora states his new form can destroy the city of Las Noches in the hollow world of Puerto Mundo. What's that, like Mexican hell? Well, there is a wall. <laughs> oh. Las Noches is square in shape and takes three days to walk from one corner to a gate in the center of the wall. So it has a total area of 200,000 square miles. That's bigger than California. And destroying it in one go needs over 400,000 megatons of TNT. So plug that into the formula and there you have it. Each of those reactors is equal to over 400,000 so uh... megatons of TNT. Parentheses around level is much easier to figure out. His chakra was once extracted and burst a hole through the hollow moon. He survived the explosion, and it was so explicitly it's not said the that this was moon? nearly all of his chakra. Most of his chakra has been siphoned off. By measuring the aftermath from both sides, we found the blast to equal at least 480 billion megatons of TNT. 40 billion more than Ichigo. And don't okay. forget, we were deliberately overestimating him. Also, this was base for oh, Naruto, that's not Naruto. including any increases Sorry. from additional modes, which allowed him to block an attack that cut the moon in half, a force that had to be over 27 trillion megatons. This proves Naruto can both output and survive a blast stronger than Ichigo is capable of. See, maybe he should have gone up against Asura. No survive a black hole in a box. That move doesn't really work like a black hole. Plus, the 814 kiloton Fregor blast did hurt him immediately after, so it must have been weird <laughs> no, than that. Oh, but Lord. where's work Kaguya and Yugwaka Waka Planet Busters? Don't they scale to him? Nope. Kaguya's planet-busting attack required chakra from nearly the entire Earth's population, not just her own. And while Yuat's power was pretty OP, he couldn't destroy the world through his own destructive capability. 
You only plan to manipulate the delicate balance between life and death by stopping the flow of souls. Like a plate spinning oh, right. stick. If one side gets too heavy, the whole thing comes crashing down. To sum it up, Ichigo had the speed, they both had the guts, and Naruto had the strength, durability, training, and abilities for days. No one ever Naruto has to restore sure the, the death side. Jump on Ichigo. The winner is Naruto Uzumaki. Yay! Stick around, we're about to announce the combatants for the next death battle. And if you want to watch exclusive commentary on this episode, click that little box over there and start a first number. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on. <laughs> Guinness! Ooh, that's gonna be nice! I mean, it's not what I was hyped for, but I do love me some Batman Beyond! I wish we found out how, more about how Harley survived that fall. I mean, they said she was never found, and then she shows up at the end of the movie as an old lady. Shut up, Nana Harley. <laughs> I want to think it was some sort of combined forces between Poison Ivy and the Creeper, but I don't know. I, I, I just... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I was right. Uh, <laughs> it makes me want to watch Naruto. It makes me want to finish watching Bleach. Uh, that'll take Depending on how much I can watch till March to finish one of them. Bear in mind it's uh, early November. And then, I don't know, till July to finish the other one. <laughs> uh, oh, I was. I mean, let's see, I can watch. Well, I watched all of Attack of Titans, Attack of, but I watched all of Attack on Titan season one in one day, and that's like 25 episodes. But that was like, I don't know, that was a special day. I had absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> mm. My mom is actually coming to pick me up in about nine minutes. So I'm going to make this quick. And then I have to go finish getting dressed because I'm still wearing my pajamas. Well, this 